all right guys welcome back so in today's question we have this link bd that consists of a single bar one inch wide and one half inch thick we know that each pin has three eight of three eight inches diameter and we need to determine the maximum value of the average normal stress in link bd in two conditions one data is zero and the other one we have data 90 degrees so Looking at the question, we see that we need to find the maximum value of the average normal stress. And we know that average normal stress is equal to force divided by the area. And when we have the minimum area, we will have the maximum average normal stress. So what we're gonna do in here is that we're gonna start with the free body diagram of the bar AC. So we have this bar AC in here that we have the force four kips, which makes angle theta in here. So at point B, we have the force FBD. So looking at the member BD, we'll see that uh, the member BD is two force member, meaning the force will be along the line that connects B and D. So let's just consider it like that or here let's call it FBD and if that's the force on the bar AC that means that our BD in here will be in compression this will be our FBD yeah but let's let's just consider a positive direction let's call our X and Y in here in this direction Y X and we have a pin support at point A, which means we have both X and Y component. Let's call this AX and AY. Again, don't worry about the directions. We're, just, we're gonna consider everything positive. And if we get a negative sign at the end, that shows that our assumption wasn't correct. So now that we have this, uh, we can do our moment equation in order to find the FBD. And after that, oh, we can find the maximum value of the average normal stress but the question is how we're going to find fbd so if we do the moment equation about point a counterclockwise positive as always we can get rid of ax and ay so we'll end up with the moment of fbd and the four kips force that we have but before that let's just find the x and y component of the four kips so this will be the x component which will be four times cosine of theta and this will be four times sine of theta now we can use the 2d shortcut that we have for finding the moment i have a video in my other channel which is for engineering mechanics i'm gonna go over that 2d shortcut that we have for finding moment in two dimensional questions i'm gonna put the link in the description below Feel free to check that out to refresh your mind in case you need to review that shortcut for finding the moment. And basically what we need is just to find the force and the line of and the perpendicular or vertical distance from the point that we are finding the moment about to the line of the action. So for here, what we are interested in here is that we have FBD, which makes a counterclockwise moment about point A. So it is positive and the distance that we are looking for is what we have in here or what we have from A to D. And we can see that would be simply 12 times cosine of 30 degrees. So that would be the moment of FBD. We have the moment of X and Y components of components of four kips so let's just go with the four sine of theta as we can see that's going to make a clockwise moment so it will be negative four times sine of theta and the distance will be simply again this is the force the line of action is here so we're looking for this distance you have the same thing but this time have 12 plus 6 times cosine of 30 degrees and let's go with the uh, let's find the moment of the 4 cosine 4 cosine is also a counterclockwise moment so positive for cosine of theta and this time the distance that we are looking for so this is the line of action and the distance is this one which would be simply 12 plus 6 sine of 30 degrees and this has to be equal to zero 
and in order to find the FPD we need to go with our conditions that we have for theta let's start with the A part where theta is 0 so we'll have FPD times 12 cosine of 30 degrees so sine of the sine of zero will be zero so nothing from that part we we'll have also four cosine of zero times 12 plus six sine of 30 is equal to zero and what we get from here is that fpd will be so cosine of zero is one this will be 18 sine of 30 is one half so basically we'll have 2 times 18 which is 36 divided by 12 cosine of 30 degrees and this is going to give us oh we have a negative sign in here minus 3.46 kips so the negative sign shows that our FPD is actually in this direction and if that's the case that means that the member BD is in tension. So, so the negative sign shows that the member BD is actually in tension as opposed to compression. So that's the force and if you want to find the maximum of average normal stress we have what we found for f which is 3.46 kips divided by area and if you want to find the area so as i mentioned the maximum of this stress happens when the area of minimum and the minimum is at the intersection that we have at member bd and if we want to look at that intersection so if we do this section what we see from the top so if we look at from here the section that we see would be something like this so the middle part is where we have the hole and from the question we know that the bar is one inch wide and half inch thick and the diameter for the pin is of inch so if you want to find the area of the shaded part we simply have so we can do two different things we can find the the area of the the bigger square which will be this is the outer square minus the area of the pin which is and this will be inches squared and what we have for the area so we're just going to put that in here half of one minus three eighth of inches squared and if we calculate this we'll get 11.09 k si and that would be the answer for the a part of the question again for the area we are looking at this intersection and if we look at it from the top this is what we see so we know it is one inch wide and half inch thick and we obviously have the hole that is in the middle and we have the maximum average normal stress at the minimum or where we have the holes so where the holes are located we have the highest stress so that was the a part the b part is very similar we just have theta equal to 90 and that's going to change our fpd so we will have fpd times 12 cosine of 30 degrees so here this time we'll have the second line zero because the cosine of 90 degrees oh actually we have this line zero so the second line would be sine of 90 degrees so minus 4 sine of 90 90 degrees times uh, 18 cosine of equal to 0 and as we can see this time our FPD is positive so FPD in this part will be basically 4 times 18 times cosine of 30 divided by 12 cosine of 30 degrees we can cancel out cosine of 30 this will be 3 and fpd will be simply 6 kips 
and no negative sign that shows that for the B part I'm gonna show it in a different color for the B part this will be actually what we have in the beginning so when the member is in compression that means that the stress is gonna apply in the middle of this bar as opposed to where the holes are located that's why the area that we have for this part will be different so the area this time would be simply uh, what we have in here if we look at the same intersection this was one and this is one half so basically we have one times one half which is 0.5 inches squared and now we can find the average normal stress which will be six kips divided by 0.5 and this is going to be 12 k si so again uh, when we have a member let's look at the member bd again so when this member is in compression our area would be the area of the bar in here and when it's in tension the area that we have would be the area of intersection where the holes are located so that's why uh, we had to subtract the area of the hole uh, in the a part of the question where the uh, member bd was actually in tension and if you want to show the direction so in the a part the member bd the force is actually in this direction or we can here mention uh, compression or tension it can put a compression in this part and in the previous part we have the member in tension where we had the stress 11.09 so that would be the final answer for this question um, please let me know if you have any question and make sure to subscribe to the channel like and comment and uh, you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one